Hello, this is Eagle from JG7 Squadron. In today's video, I will show you how to properly manage the BF109K4 manual propel pitch during taxi, takeoff, and landing. Without further ado, let's get to the point. Now that we are in the BF109K4 copy, there is some important instrument that will be required to check and operate during fly. Starting from the left to the right, first we have the propel pitch control or blade control located at the throttle. With this, we will be able to increase or decrease the angle of the blade, which will create a lot to the engine making the RPM to decrease or increase. Further down, next to the left radiator cutoff, we have the governator switch. It will allow us to either manually control the propel pitch or leave automatically to be adjusted by the 109 pre-assembled settings by the engineer. The governator switch has two positions. One, is facing 6 o'clock towards the pilot, setting the propel pitch control to automatically. The second position is facing 12 o'clock towards the nose of the aircraft. This position will set the propel pitch control to manual allowing the pilot to control it at will. It's really important to check this instrument during a startup and flight, which it could cause to overrun the engine. It's important to map both of those three switches and you hot us, since you will require them during fly. Now moving to the right side. We have three important instruments. The first one, the propel pitch gauge. It's represented by a clock format. This gauge will provide you information about the angle of the propel blades. For now, I won't go deep into the operation system since this video is more simplified to help you understand and introduce yourself to the BF109 manual engine management. Moving to the left, we have the most important instrument, the RPM gauge. This gauge is what you will be checking during the wall fly. The 109 engine, as all the other engines, have some limitations. The max RPM allowed during operation is 2850 RPM. If the RPM increase further up at any point, the engine will suffer a devastating damage. It is very important to prevent the engine from operating at or near the max RPM range. What is recommended in max power setting will be 2750 RPM at 1.45 ATA without NW50 or 1.888 with MW50. There is other recommend RPM setups for economic or constant power, which I will provide further in the video. Moving down, there is the ATA gauge or manifold gauge. This instrument provides you with information regards to what pressure is being run at the engine manifold. It's also important to understand its limitation. For example, we have NW50 is recommended to only push at max of 1.45 ATA for 30 minutes. With MW50, it can be increased to 1.8 ATA for 10 minutes. The recommended setting for max continuous power is 1.388. I will demonstrate how to take off in the BF109K4 using the manual proper pitch control. I would like to point out 
if there's more than one way of propel pitch setup to take off or land the BF-109. In this video I will provide you with information based on my experience operating the 109 engine in this year's war. So let's begin. Previous taxing, the governor switch must be inspected and set to manual control which is 12 o'clock position allowing us to set the propel pitch to the 12 o'clock position in the propel pitch control gauge then the flax must be set to 5 degrees the stabili stabilizers to positive 2 and the tailwheel unlock once everything is set properly we can proceed to push the throttle forward to increase the RPM up to a thousand or less as necessary to move the aircraft forward under proper control. Once the aircraft is aligned on the runway, lock your tailwheel, inspect every instrument pre-rolling, apply full ride rotor, increase the RPM slowly to prevent going sideways due to the engine torque. Wheel rolling, you may need to apply right brake to maintain the aircraft in the center position. It's very important that you keep checking your RPMs during the whole process to prevent overrunning the engine. Once airborne, retreat your landing gear and your flaps. Once again, inspect your RPMs and check your airspeed. Now let's proceed for the landing. To begin with, I had a preferred propel pitch angle than the one recommended from the manual. I normally choose setting the propel pitch to 10.30 instead of 12 o'clock. The reason for it is the propel will have a thick angle compared to the one 12 o'clock which will make my throttle respond heavier especially at low speed before landing sometimes it requires you to adjust the throttle if you push the throttle too hard you will end rolling the aircraft over and crashing this pitch angle help you a little bit more when the throttle response of the aircraft After adjusting the propel, I recommend setting the stabilizer to zero to have a much better response on the stick to flare up right before the touchdown. Once you start descending, I gradually increase the flags from 5 to 25 to fold down the pendling of my airspeed and situation when the wrong way. Once your airspeed drop from 350 kilometers per hour, then you can drop your landing gear. You also have your radiator flat to control your airspeed. You can close them and the aircraft will be much cleaner. You can open it which will work as a air brake but keep in mind you do not want to drop your coolant temperature below the minimum mark. In the threshold Apply rotor as needed to keep the aircraft centered to the runway. 
be aware of the torque of the engines when increasing your RPMs. The ideal speed for the 109 for a proper touchdown is between 160 150 kilometers per hour in case of a long runway let the aircraft flow before the touchdown just don't descend too slow otherwise you may damage the wheels well this is all for this video I hope that any of this information resulted helpful to you. Manual propeller control could be a little intimidating at the beginning, but as the time passes, you will feel more familiar with it. And you perform a when the 109 came for, we improved to a more new level. In the next video, we touch climbing, brake fight, and obtaining the max speed possible with the wings level. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like and subscribe button, till the next time.